welcome to today's 3D print. This is the big one. It was a royal pain in the butt. It took 75 hours to print. And um, it failed about 10 hours from being finished. The nozzle hit the wing, snapped it right off. This was printed using 3D Solutex Ultra PLA in blue and it is stunning. This is the same material I printed the Aria Dragon in and the Flux Vase and the Drowdy. And, um, it took four tries to print Aria by the way. <laughs> but this one, um, it failed part way up so I then had to drop the model through the bed, print the remaining bit because I wasn't starting a 75 hour print over. It just wasn't. <laughs> uh, this thing weighs 900 grams. And um, it's stunning. Uh, even with the repairs, it's stunning. And I broke it again when I knocked it off the table. Yeah, it fell three feet and broke the other wing off. But I glued it all back together, and it's a decorative piece, so that's okay. This thing is huge. You ready for this? Can you see a little bit? Can you see it? <laughs> Look at that color. Oh my god, this plastic is so stunning. This plastic is virtually worthless for any thin structural components because while the plastic itself is very strong, it has extremely poor um, layer adhesion, so the layers don't stick to each other very well. It prints fine, but it breaks along the layer lines very, very easily. Um, this um, wing broke, broke down here when the nozzle up here bumped into the wing, snapped it right off. I heard a loud crack, and that wing came right off. Um, so I had to print from here up again, the, the head points and the two wing tips, and then I glued them on. And as you can see, the result, even with the repairs, is just stunning. This material is so nice. Had a bit of a flaw here. That's not the model. Um, this only has 3% infill. I jack up the infill at about this height here to account for that cavity that she has inside the model. This is Luby's um, Adelinda Dragon. And um, so I jack up the infill there until that object becomes self printable, the internal shape. And then I bring the infill back down to 3% again because it was just taking a ridiculous amount of plastic. I mean, this took almost an entire roll of plastic, and if I didn't lower the infill, it would have exceeded the roll of plastic, so I had to drop the infill down to make this printable for me. And uh, it's absolutely stunning. This thing is simply enormous. It is, um, well, it's 400, 390 millimeters tall, so what's that, uh, 16 inches, I think? That's almost 16 inches. Absolutely stunning. I, I keep saying the word absolutely, but I don't know how else to describe her models. They're just amazing. Absolutely beautiful models. There's the mouth there. And the bottom came out beautiful as usual. Slight imperfection here because of scaling it up, so the overhang was a little worse, but we handled it fine. No support, no raft, just printed right on the printer. This is printed on the CR10. The CR10 S3, the 300 millimeter version. I love this plastic so much. I already bought another roll of blue in case I come up with something else cool I want to print in blue. Uh, hint, I'm really thinking about um, Plava Laguna from Fifth Element. She would look very cool in this blue. So, go check this out. It's called Adelinda. A link will be below in the video. I'll also have a link to this filament. Um, as always, money is tight. I found out about Amazon's affiliate program, so if you decide to buy this filament using my link below, I'll get a kickback from Amazon for that, so I would appreciate it. That link is also good for anything you buy, so if you have anything else you want to buy on Amazon and you use my link to get into the Amazon site, even if you don't buy this filament, it still helps me, and I greatly appreciate that. This stuff ain't cheap. <laughs> well, th this filament was cheap. It was only $21.99 a kilogram. It's crazy. But um, this hobby is more expensive. <laughs> so is life. You guys have a great day.